Okay, got it under control. Um, and then what I would do in here is I would probably in, in, refine this some more, but we could insert our darkest dark, if I, if, since I've got a little dark here and there, if I do it where I would like you to look, like the eyes, um, it's a good bal balance for uh, where I could put my accents. So if I squint it, let's uh, get a, uh, a smear sheet here. Like I say, the good thing with the smear sheet is it keeps it from smearing. The bad, the bad thing is you can't always see the big effects, so make sure you get, get it out of there as much as you can. This all masses. I don't see a big difference between the iris and the, the eyes because she's got a um, very dark color iris there, so that's, that's the look you're going for. Don't hold your gaze, please. Thanks. And then you can see where to go with the rest of the value. You might have to pop it just a little bit. And then you ask to see you know, if, if, if the, the construction is, is working yet. Then you look and see if, if maybe you need to you know, round this off a little bit more so that, so that it's a, you know, a, a, not as, as angular of a form. Same thing here, round it off a little bit. But usually when you put the blacks in or the darkest the darker darks, then you can see if the rest of your shadows need just a little bit extra here and there. <laughs> 